All right. This is our last day of review for this opportunity we have coming up. What, what's this opportunity? Uh, this uh, together test. We get to do tomorrow. I am going to be on page 124. My voice is dorking up today, so I apologize in advance for having something going on in my throat. Uh, it's page 124. Take good notes on this. This stuff definitely will help you on the test tomorrow. Sixth grade type stuff. All right, it says a taste test developed. <laughs> taste test is developed for a new food products by a popular restaurant chain. New food products need rating higher than 7.0 on a scale from 1 to 10. That's our fab fabulous Likert scale. On taste tests, in order to be considered for addition for a new menu, a brand new product has been tested by 100 people and produced an average score of 7.8 with standard deviation 1.2. Is this significant evidence that this product has passed and should be considered for the addition to the menu. All right, hypothesis, which hypothesis test works here? Hello. Okay, so, so I'd say one test, standard deviation. So this should be a Z test, standard deviation from sample. Wi Fi is being done. Something will work. Not even $2. Alright. Um, sample standard deviation. God, it sucks. Alright. Is this a one or a two tailed test? Uh, let's see. We need higher than, so this is a one tail, because we have a direction. Number three, state the null and the alternative, H not H A. And then we will say something like sample is equal to seven, and then sample is greater than seven for our alternative. There's your one tail. Find the mean and standard error. Okay, so the mean is uh, 7.8, standard error, we're going to take the standard deviation over the square root of the sample, so our standard deviation is 1.2, hey, divided by the <coughs> it says power stroke. So 1.2 over 10, this is going to give me a 0 0.12, mathematically. <coughs> And then sketch the sample and distribution. Okay, so here's the fancy work. <clears throat> so we have a seven in the middle, 7.12, 7 point hello, 7.36, 7.38, say that our sample produced like a 7.8, so it's like way out here in 7.8. Okay, so uh, time for Desmos. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Cool. All right, Desmos. distribution we know we have a 7.8 and a 0.12 there's our normal 
distribution based on that. Uh, calculate the p-value. Oops, bless you, this is supposed to be 7.0. Sorry. All right, so we're going to see 7.8 or higher. Holy cow. Is that a really teeny tiny teeny itsy bitsy number? Yeah, that's like point ten zeros one three. Oh, crumpets. So, so our p value being its one tail, we have to base it on this. So our p value we found was so small, like almost zero. Yeah. So we reject. Null, we found strong evidence against the null. Okay? Uh, state the conclusion the alpha is 0.05, so number 7, if it told us the alpha is 0.05. So our conclusion basically means that we should. We should add the new item, and being that we have an alpha of 0.05, means we have a 5% chance of a type 1 error. Okay, 5% chance of a type 1 error. Type, type 1 error means that our <coughs> we rejected our null, but it was actually true. Okay. And are all the assumptions passed? Number eight. This was not random. That's bad news. Okay? We did not have any randomness to this. They just had a, I mean, they have a large enough sample, but it was not a random sample. It was just the first hundred people to come through the door. Okay. So, so let's kind of map out what we have for the rest of the week. Thursday, which is tomorrow, we have our test. And you get to do it together. But, what did I say? You're doing it together. What's, what are some problems? Right, like you might find the same first page as you, but that particular group you're with might not have the same page two or page three or page four. So you're gonna have to kinda go around and meet with other people that you might not necessarily work with, which is fine. Friday, you'll enjoy. This is a good old life story that you'll enjoy. So then Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday next week. Yeah, so chapter seven. So that's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. What's going on with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday though? I won't be here, so I will have a video <clears throat> that will go over the previous day's assignments as well as uh, the lecture on the new content. And let's just take a quick gander at chapter seven. So I've got seven one, seven two. This is kind of uh, chi square stuff. Let's see, seven one to seven three. So. This will actually be 71273 review. Yes, right here. There's a 74. Uh, still haven't. Okay, so 75. So, because there's a review here. I would imagine the Tuesday on the following week. Actually, you know what I'll do? That'll be a 7475, and then Monday we'll do the 71273 review. Uh, quiz Tuesday. Not next week, but the week after. And then we'll do 75, 76, review on 77. Seven review. A few days. Ooh, okay. So we
Sweet, so we'll be hitting chapter eight. Let's see. Just gotta make sure make sure my dates are right. And when the test tomorrow is at like seven one and seven three or I'm sorry, what? And is the test tomorrow is that like seven one to seven three? Or which the test tomorrow is uh, the chapter six test. Calendar. All right. Your guys' last day is the 9th of May. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey. Good to see you. So, 9th of May. Yeah, we're going to be able to get into chapter 8. So, don't we have to do something also on the 10th? Or? I don't know. I think you guys are out of class by then, so. Yeah. All right.